from the 16. Big opening. Has five, has ten, still fighting his way for 14 yards is Adam Robinson. Stanzi has a man wide open. Safety valve right over the middle. And boy, what a collision. Blocker in front. Robinson, big opening. 5, 10, 15. Cut it off at very close to 20 yards on the carry. Third down. Gets it out right over the middle. And that is uh, Jackson Pugliotis heading for the end zone. Did he get in? Yes. Touchdown, Iowa. Iowa touchdown has uh, over that loss last week. Gonna go long. And intercepted by Iowa. And that is Tyler Sash. Sash up the sideline. And he'll be stopped just across midfield. Stands he's gonna go long. Has a man there and it is caught did he catch it in bounds yes touchdown Daryl Johnson Kulianos Seth Brookhuysen redshirt freshman out of Holland Michigan officially for the near hash mark a 38 yard attempt it is blocked Ball picked up by Iowa, and everybody from Michigan stopped. And now, still on his feet, that's Tyler Savage, and he takes it across midfield. What a heady move on his part. That's McNutt on the far sideline looking into a really tough sun, and he made the catch. Third down. The line to make is the Michigan 18-yard line. They keep it on the ground, and the running play is going to be close to it. Is going to pick up the first down. Adam Robinson, the man they call AD. And now we're looking up at the clock. You have to think that at least two of these next plays, if they don't get it in, will be on the ground. Uh, Coach Ferris doesn't want to give Michigan the football. <laughs> Look at he's too looking. Quickly. He's looking at the clock, thinking that exact same thing. Let's melt this thing down. I don't want to see number 16 any more than I have to today. Brad Rogers, number 38, in the game at fullback. Lining up in front of Adam Robinson. Adam will get it. Goes right side, nothing there. Turns it back to the left, and he walks into the end zone. I think it's time for him to start keeping the ball in that zone read. He's been handing it off a lot. He's got to start keeping it. Uh, looking as though he wants to throw. Now he's going to turn it up. And just that quickly, that's the kind of point that we've been making all afternoon long. Just that quickly, he's got 12 yards on the play. Yep, and he, I think, hurt his right. Yeah, he, he took a... Can't tell if it's his arm or he got hit in the midsection. Tyler Nielsen is the man who made the tackle. Offensive coordinator upstairs. Calling the plays and straight ahead, boy Vincent Smith. The ball came loose, and Iowa has recovered. Klug is the man who made the hit, who slashed him down, and the ball came loose. Wow! His fumble was. Forcier, empty backfield. Gets it away. That's Micah Hyde who comes up with the pick on. And now here comes a very late flag onto the field. Carl Klug, number 95. You could see him chasing and putting a lot of intimidating pressure on the quarterback, Tate Forcier. Well, that whole left side of the line, they ran a stunt on that side between Klug and Claiborne. And. Taylor Lewan, the left tackle that we like so much, has been out of the game, replaced by Mark Hugey, and he really struggled on that play. During the return, personal foul. Returning team number 28. 15 yards from the spot of the foul. First down. 
second turnover of the quarter against Michigan. They had one turnover in the first half. Stands it deep over the middle, got a man, and that is McNutt. McNutt stumbles his way out of bounds inside the 30 at the 29, pushed out by Gordon. Rodgers at fullback to block for Robinson. They come to the left. Gets his block, turns it outside at the five, and he will walk into the end zone. Touchdown, and Brad Rogers, the man we were just talking about, put an asterisk by his name for an outstanding block, paving the way for Adam Robinson. They continue to mount with their run game. Cut back. Brad Herman was in motion, the tight end, and the running play is going to go for very big yardage. J.T. Floyd, and now a late flag comes in. Got to be 20 yards, and if there's 15 added on it, then I'm afraid you just have to put that in that mistake category, which is growing by leaps and bounds for the Wolverines. Well, this, this defense has just struggled all Personal year. Foul. Face mask. Defense number 12. 15 yards. Automatic push. Down. And for, for Iowa, as they go down the stretch, they just don't have another running back that they can trust right now, other than Adam Robinson with Brandon Wager leaving the team for personal reasons during camp and Jewel Hampton out again with an ACL. But uh, Robinson's going to have to be the guy that gets 20, 30, sometimes 40 carries in games like this where they're trying to melt the clock. Boy, they got to keep him healthy. No question about that. Quick looking pass, got it. Not only the first down, Daryl Johnson Kudianis. That is a record setting catch for him. His third touchdown of the afternoon. Let him go out and play a little bit. A lot of times you don't get these guys as much time as you'd like to. Gonna go long. There's a broken defensive coverage, and as a result, Junior Hemingway looked like the first guy out to the workout. Touchdown, Michigan. 45 yards. Well, the corner saw a ghost. That's what that's called there is Micah Hyde. There is no reason with an outside receiver running deep for Micah Hyde to come off that much. Also, Greenwood, the safety, bails to the middle. And that's who Hyde expected to be there, but Hyde has got to keep leverage pushing back towards the receiver. Extra point attempt uh, by Brooke Heisen is up and good. 10-28 left in our ball game. And once again, a 14-point margin. Keeps it. He'll score. I believe that is Mike Daniels, who is down for Iowa. Put him in the face because Greg Robinson has called that every single time they've run the ball in second down. Just about JT Floyd back on the field. Collects, by the way, seven tackles, two and a half for losses. Third down, they need to take it to the 50. Look at pass, and I've got it complete to McNutt. And McNutt goes all the way to the 42 yard line. Iowa on third down situation, six of 11. Kovacs, by the way, on that last play, good job. He just held him up. Third down, they swing it out. He is caught and gets by a tackle is Adam Robinson, and he is still on his feet, still going inside the 15-yard line. In the woods with what should be a chip shot. 30-yard attempt. Good pass, and the kick is good. The kick is good. The score is Iowa 38, Michigan 28.
So Iowa goes up by 10 with 253 left in the ball game. And look how far back the middle linebacker has moved for Iowa. Number 50, Lance Tillerson. Forcier gets spun around. Now going again. Heavy pressure goes down. Ball is loose. And Michigan would appear to have recovered. And the official's going to say he was down by contact. And it was Claiborne who was really coming after him. Uh, there's a reason that this guy is number eight on Mel Kuyper's big board for next April's draft. He, he, he has power. He has speed. He uses his hands very well. He's going to make a fine NFL defensive end. Clock runs about to go under two minutes to play. 38-28, Iowa. Forcier looking and drills the ball. Intercepted. And that is Troy Johnson, the middle linebacker. Four turnovers, Wolverines. Christian Ballard, number 46, was coming pell-mell after the quarterback and helped force the issue. Or the national championship game. Yeah, that's right. Stanzi will take a knee. And you, and you play this season forward. Michigan State got a nice win today against Illinois. After an emotional win against Michigan, people thought that maybe Illinois, after blowing out Penn State, would give them a little more. But those teams don't play Michigan State and Ohio State. And if they both go undefeated, it'll come all the way down to the BCS. That will be the tiebreaker it gets to. And I would think Ohio State would win that. But if you had two undefeated teams in the Big Ten, and losses around the country. Boise State's undefeated. You start thinking, is there a chance of an all Big Ten national championship? And I would say there is. Stanji will take a knee, and it, they won't have to do anything more. Stanji coming over to shake hands with some of the Michigan defensive players. And Kirk Farrens coming out to shake hands with Rich Rodriguez. And it goes in the record book as a victory for the Hawkeyes. Hard fought and on the road. That's the most important thing. And if you were giving a player of the game award, which we're not, but it certainly would go to that gentleman right there, Adam Robinson.